Femi Kuti said he wants his dead body to be burned to ashes when he dies. And when they asked him why he wanted to be cremated instead of buried in a casket in a cemetery like everyone else, he gave a startling reason, which I will read to you in a moment. But take note, there is a certain shady undertone to his statement that seems to expose a long diabolic practice in graveyards in African cemeteries. Before we continue, please make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and turn on the notification button so whenever there is a new video like this, you'd be the first to know. Femi said, and I quote, When I die, please cremate me. Burn my body. It is the most hygienic way. Emphasis on the hygienic. And then he went on to say, have you all thought of the Ikoi Cemetery? This Lagos has been in existence for let's say 60 years and people die. If they don't die today, they will die tomorrow. And that burial ground has never been full. And if you check it, it's not like it's 1 million acres. Since I was little, we used to bury people there. And quote. This man has a very powerful way with words. It's surprising how he can say so much with such little sentences. Now, we are going to dissect this statement he made into tiny bits that reveal so much of what some of you wouldn't see when you read this statement yourself. We are about to uncover a very morbid, shocking reality of Nigerian cemeteries that is not being talked about. Let's start with why are these public cemeteries not getting filled up? And we're going to use this Ikoyi Cemetery for example because that is the one he pointed out. But mind you, it's almost safe to say this is a common practice amongst many other cemeteries across Nigeria, even across Africa. Now, what Femi was trying to say is, this cemetery has been around for as long as he had lived and this man is almost 60, if not more. And people die like every day and almost every day people are being brought there to be buried. But yet, that cemetery doesn't get filled up. And it's not like these vaults in the cemetery are being put on top of each other like a mausoleum or like a story building. Everybody is buried in a single tiny plot on the floor. So, in 60 years, even if that land was 100 acres, it should by now be filled up. Now, if you don't see what he's trying to say, let me refer you to a research done by The Cable in 2015. The Cable did a small research regarding cemeteries in Nigeria. And one of the cemeteries they visited to learn about was the Ikoi Cemetery that Femi was talking about. So in 2015, The Cable went for a funeral in Ikoi Cemetery and after the funeral they approached some of the caretakers to have a word with them regarding you know information concerning the cemetery. It was said that the first group of caretakers they approached turned them down because they suspected that the questions were some sort of an investigation into the cemetery and because of that they were not going to answer any question. However, one caretaker decided to listen to them and give them answers to their question. Little did this man know that he was saying more than he should have. So the first question the cable asked was, how much does a vault cost uh, in this cemetery? And because of that, the guy felt, okay, maybe this is business or maybe they want to bury a loved one. So he started giving them the dish and he took them around the cemetery like some sort of tour and he was showing them different kind of vaults and the cost and then according to the cable they got to somewhere that seems to be the end of the cemetery and they saw a freshly built vault and when they asked how much that would go uh the guy said it's going to go for 500 or thereabout but if they were going to put marbles and inscriptions and make it really fancy it's for another 400 which would total 1 million naira now this is back in 2015 i'm sure the price now would be relatively higher and then the guy revealed to them that there is a cheaper vault for 400,000 naira or thereabout but he told them that this vault is not going to have marbles and it's not going to have inscriptions and it's not going to have tiles and designs on it but that's not all about that cheaper grave this man further went on to say 
that if they purchase the cheaper vault, that there is a high chance their loved one would be dug up and evacuated in two weeks. And that same grave spot would be sold to a new deceased person. This is very shocking to know that this is a practice and this is something that happens I feel like many people should worry and the worst part is it is not exclusive to the Ikoyi cemetery this is a common practice everywhere and that is why some countries have strong laws regarding you know the deceased and the dead and you know how to care for the dead that is why in some countries they have stricter laws and punishment for such practices now put in mind that Ikoyi is basically the home for the rich so if this kind of practice is being done in the cemetery for the home of the rich and notable imagine what is being done in the cemeteries where the poor and the regular people who don't have money or who isn't as popular and notable imagine how those cemeteries would be treating those kinds of people what makes this even worse is that the person speaking with the cable claimed to have inherited the grave making business from his father which clearly means this practice is not a new one and this my friend is why public cemeteries don't get filled up and the reason why these caretakers get away with these practices is because we as a people we as a society we do not care for our deceased loved ones especially after we have buried them once they pass we take them to the morgue once all those are done we take them to the cemetery put them in the ground and that is it people don't go to visit graves here in nigeria unlike some foreign cemeteries where the grass are cleared to carpet level people go there for picnics people go there to take pictures people go there to make content people go there for excursions and learn about the notable people buried in that cemetery but over here it's a no it is safe to say nearly 95 percent of nigerians don't go visiting their loved ones who have been deceased in a cemetery that's why when you see pictures of nigerian cemeteries you won't see flowers or coins or anything around it it's only when, when you see flowers like that you just know it's a fresh grave and the person just recently died even if those who go to visit they do it one two three years and soon afterwards it gets really old and they stop going the way we see death the way we ascribe death to certain diabolic words it's kind of reflects on how we treat our dead we ascribe death to omen we see death as a punishment we see death as a curse our pastors won't stop associating death with some kind of devil or evil spirit even when someone dies peacefully in their sleep it's not enough for us to understand that death is part of life and not the end of life for a lot of people, the grave is the dustbin for the dead. They don't see it as anything. It's a trash bin. Okay, he's dead. Throw him dead. That is how many of us see our dead. Not realizing that one day it will all be us. And because of our lack of care, because of our lack of interest, because we don't care, those people in charge of caring for these cemeteries also don't care. Why would they care? for someone or something you don't care about why would they clean your loved one grave when you won't come and visit why would they clear the bushes in the graves of your loved one when they know it's of no use because you don't come to drop flowers or clean it or you know rebuild it or repaint it why would they care and it's so bad that this man even said in two weeks which means you know in my head i was thinking maybe in 10 years that is when they can dig the grave evacuate the previous uh, deceased person there and put another person in two weeks that is how fast we forget the dead to the point that these caretakers know that in two weeks nobody is going to care for this person we can now bring them out and put someone else's there and take another four hundred thousand naira if today many people decide to go to the cemetery they buried a loved one many years ago there is a chance that a good percentage of people would not see the grave of their loved ones and there is a high possibility that over five generations of people will stand at a particular grave and say that that is where they buried a particular loved one and of course when you dig it up it's going to be bones there and you wouldn't know who was actually there but there's a chance that who you thought was there has been evacuated this clearly means resting in peace in Nigerian cemetery is just a matter of time it's like a hotel booking 
once it's two weeks yeah if you did not pay full price for a permanent grave leave another thing that femi talked about was hygiene and still on the research made by the cable the average nigerian cemetery is a horror movie even ikoi cemetery as it being the home to the notable and rich and wealthy people it's still an eyesore it's still a horror show so after the cable finished from uh, ikoi cemetery they paid a visit to shango cemetery in ibadan one of the largest landmass states in nigeria but when they got there they learned that the popular name for that cemetery as it's been called by residents and people who know the area is the snake forest how can a cemetery where people's loved ones are put there for final resting be called a snake forest and which is funny because the day the cable went there to you know inquire the caretakers were burning a very large snake they had just recently killed i guess that proves the point of the the residents in the neighborhood around the area that that is indeed the snake forest and it is an actual forest of massive bushes covering people's loved ones and you'll be surprised that the, some of the graves that these bushes are covering are loved ones from barely weeks ago. You think it's graves from 200,000 years ago, but these are graves from not even long ago that has been covered by the forest. To the point, snakes now breed, live, and grow there with people's deceased loved ones. And while they were walking along the cemetery, they noticed a particular fresh grave that had been there for barely two days, and the grave was already broken barely two days and someone's grave was broken clearly someone broke it but wind can't break it i don't think spirits woke up to break it they just made a crack on the grave and i feel like that crack was to make it easier for them to break it when the time comes because if they left that cement cake for long it would be probably a lot difficult to break into it so that is why they probably left a crack on it and i'm sure if the loved ones of those people go back to that particular grave, yeah, it will be a new person there. The cable also went to Calabar Cemetery, only to find a madman taking a sheet next to someone's deceased grandpa's grave. I'm not sure if it's a grandpa, but I'm assuming it's someone's grandpa. When they visited the grave, mind you, the fact that the grave is filled with so much bushes and trees and it's, it's a total horror movie, they learned that the madman lives there. They saw the madman's mosquito net being spread on one of the bush close to a grave. They also saw the madman taking a sheet. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And I can bet that that madman might not really be mad. This is giving me Clifford Orgy kind of madness. I don't want to say much because I don't know much about that particular madman. But for a madman to be living in a graveyard they even went on to learn that the madman doesn't even sleep there that he comes there wash his clothes do his laundries cook eat but then goes somewhere in town to sleep so the man knows where to sleep and knows where to come and cook and no no i don't want to believe that is a madman that i don't know i don't know that kind of madness is a little cliffordology to me. So friends, there you have it. This is why Femi Kuti prefers to be cremated rather than being buried in a Nigerian cemetery. Because I'm sure he knows all these things I'm saying. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know your thoughts. I know we've said a lot. So let me know your thoughts on Femi Kuti wish to be cremated because of the reasons he gave regarding the state and care of Nigerian cemetery. But I have a question one i may have to talk about in another video when these grave diggers evacuate the remains of a previous deceased person buried at a particular grave where do they take their remains to because i know certainly that people don't just turn into dust there will be bones there so where do these grave diggers take these remains to where